All righty, folks, let's have the conversation. Let's, uh, let's talk about PvP. Let's talk about Destiny 2 Beta PvP. This is not the final shipped game. As we know, things will change. Probably change for the better once the game actually ships. This is a build, well, as they're calling it, an older build, I think. But um, I really need your help in the comment section because I want to hear your feedback. Now, we're going to talk about control, and we're going to talk about the new format. We're going to talk about everything. We're not going to talk about countdown. Uh, if you, from a pro's perspective, you don't want to go to this channel. Okay, I, I try to pride myself on speaking for the average, the casual. If you want uh, information about countdown from like the pros, I would check out Cool Guy, M Tash, True Vanguards. I'm sure they have some great videos up on those um, on that game mode. Countdown. I played a couple games. I liked it. I had fun, but definitely very competitive, very sweaty. Got to go in there with the full team with microphones. Now, at the time of recording this video, it's uh, Saturday morning at like 3 a.m. And I've been playing probably about five hours a night. Yeah, the same game mode, uh, the same uh, same map, and we've been having a really good time. I've been you know, pretty much partied every night, right? You know, we go in there, and um, I gotta say, guys, I like it a lot more than Destiny One. You know, it feels refreshing to not have all right icebreakers, sidearms, hand cannons, the same thing over and over. Pretty much all the weapons are good in one way or another. Uh, I have good luck with the auto rifle. I have good luck with the pulse rifle. Uh, I am, uh, I gotta preface this, in a lot of the clips you're gonna see, I am that annoying guy who runs around with the fusion rifle, which is totally broken. And uh, the beauty of Destiny 2, with its handcrafted weapon system, is that they can go in and tweak weapons and not have to blanket nerf an entire archetype. So I imagine they're going to nerf this thing probably when the game ships. So let's talk about action and movement. When I first logged into Destiny 2 beta and I went and played the strike, man, the characters felt slow. But in PvP, it, I, I feel the opposite. Like my Warlock, my Titan, everything feels really fast-paced. And I don't think it's because of the character movement. I think it's because of the map, the mode, and just it doesn't take you forever to get to places. You know, granted, who knows what the other maps are going to be like when the game ships, but they did say that they created the maps with the game modes in mind. So Control is going to have its own maps, Countdown's going to have its own maps, and so forth. But it felt really fast-paced, at least in my opinion. I, guys, I want to hear from you in the comment section, please. Now, aside from the fusion rifle and even the shotgun, the shotgun is really good, um, the primary gunfights are awesome. I mean, yeah, it's it's a lot of team shooting, and I was kind of worried about that, and that does seem to be a problem, but I don't really know if there's any fix for that. I mean, it's 4v4, the maps are kind of small, everyone's kind of hunkered down together, and you're getting team shot a lot. That's why I, I'm really unhappy that they said that there's no rumble in Destiny 2. I, I really hope they reconsider that. Um, rumble, I want to have one-on-one -on -one gunfights. You know, that's how I warm up in Crucible in Destiny 1. I go play some rumble first. You know, see which weapon I'm going to be good with that night. Some nights it's Mida. Some nights it's my Lord High Fixer. Some nights it's I'm not good with anything. Now, in Destiny 1, all we did was complain about ability spam, right? Supers, grenades, melees, whatever. Well, not really melees, but you know what I'm talking about. Grenades and supers. The problem with this game right now is everyone gets their super basically at the same time, towards the end. Then everyone pops them at the same time. That's a problem. That needs to be addressed. I feel like they need to buff that up a little bit. But then again, when I was going back at my footage that I recorded at the Destiny 2 reveal, in some of the armor slots, I'm going to try to find a footage and put it on screen right now. Some of the armor slots did show these intrinsic perks that were, they were locked basically. And they said uh, faster recharge on grenades, faster recharge on yada yada. So when the game finally ships, we don't know. It c we could have more abilities. Because right now I feel like my grenades aren't doing anything. And I don't know what happened to those Axiom Bolts. They don't do anything anymore. Even the scatter grenades for the most part. But then again, it kind of just lends to what everyone wanted or I'm assuming the community wanted. Remember, it's in my opinion, I'm generalizing here. The pros, the streamers, the MLGs in most gaming communities tend to dictate where the studio goes in terms of creating the multiplayer experience, right? So there are less grenades and everything, and less supers for that matter. And choke. Was that a whiff Nova Bomb? I think it was. No, I got somebody. But I feel like um, it needs to be just a little bit more grenades and maybe just a little bit more powerful. I mean, not overboard. I mean, like, don't go crazy with it. But the whole supers happening at the end of every match and everyone popping them at the same time, that's not fun. The after action report, that's totally changed too. And I don't think this is a mistake. I think this is the route they're going. So we see opposing defense, advantage, power play, captures, efficiency. It's not KDR. I didn't get 17 kills that match, okay? Um, and that was counting my kills and assists. Now, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure this is the final 
new scoreboard, basically. I'm waiting to hear back from Lars. I sent him a private message, so we'll see if he gets back to me. If this is what it's going to be like, no more KDR. Or do you have to go into your Bungie.net stats to see a true KDR? Look, there's two sides to this coin. Uh, part of me wants to see my kill-death ratio. And I'm trying to think of... Um, I'm trying to approach this from an average casual person's perspective, right? You go into PvP and you get a terrible KDR... What do you usually do? Or at least what I do in some cases. Shut the game down. So now, if this is the final post-game report, look, straight up, I'm not into the whole participation trophies thing, right? You win and you lose, right? And if you lose, you learn from those losses, right? However, when you when you look at that report, it's kind of giving you this feeling, or at least for most games, that, you know, how did you contribute to your team? You know, um, I'm getting that vibe from that report right there that... They might be moving away from the whole KDR thing. I mean, I, like when I think of KDR, I think of Call of Duty, right? Everyone compares how good they are with their KDRs, right? But this after action report is more about how you performed with your team. And that's why it's counting your assists and also your kills. So at first I didn't like it because I'm like, oh, well, how did I do? Or I'm getting a false sense of, did I even do well? Well, <clears throat> maybe it's not about me. Maybe it's about the team. Maybe it's about how I contributed to the team. Did I help defend? Did I get assists? Did I help other people kill people? Did I kill people myself? Did I capture flags? Things like that. I don't know. What do you guys... I really... Please. I really want to hear from you guys in the comment section. What do you guys think of this after action report? And do you think... I don't know. Is it just a glitch right now that assists and kills are counting for the same thing? And it's going to be different? I don't know. I asked that on Twitter and everyone seems to be telling me on Twitter that, no, this is this is the way it's supposed to be. This is the format that they're using now. I don't know. Now, even though I abused the heck out of the power ammo in the fusion rifle here, I didn't really find people camping for power ammo. Now, granted, I was with the team, but even then, none of us were saying, like, oh, uh, well, let me grab the power ammo. No, it was just one of those, like, whoever was closest to it, you know, got it. And, you know, I was checking my timer, so if I saw it, I kind of made my way over there and uh, made sure that I didn't go where the team, well, the enemy team was. Uh, one of the cool things about when you're trying to pull the power ammo, if you're getting shot at, it stops you pulling it. So you can't just go ninja pull it, run in there, pull it, and then the other team can't get it. No, if they're, if they're shooting at you, it's going to cancel you pulling it. Now, with the increased time to kill, I definitely liked the one-on-one -on -one gunfights that I actually do get into, which wasn't very often, though. And that's why I'm a little annoyed with the whole team shooting thing. But I was having fun trying different things. The only thing I just had terrible luck with was the hand cannon. And... I mean, I did get murked uh, many times by hand cannons, but for the most part, if I had my Nurgle, that's the full auto void pulse rifle, and they they were using a hand cannon, I would just hose them down, and usually I could take them out before they got me. But then again, we don't know how the whole mod system is going to work for weapons, and there could be, you know what, the time to kill could speed up depending on what mods you put on your weapons, you know, and then, all right, that'll lead to everyone using the same thing. Well, that remains to be seen, and if a weapon does become a problem, you know, Bungie said it themselves, all the weapons are handcrafted, right, so they can go in there and tweak them. If something becomes overpowered and is, is, is straight up being abused, all right, they'll do something about it. Now, I really wish we got more than one map. Um, in the Destiny 1 beta, we got two maps, and then when Iron Banner hit, we got another two maps. They should have given us at least one other map. This map I like, like I said before, I think it lends itself to the action. One thing that was annoying, though, was this just seems like in where there would be lanes of uh, traffic or lines of sight, there always was some sort of pillar, right? Like on B-Dom, those, those two side pillars, people would hide behind those. It seems like there was a lot of those. And I think those that... Well, my dad always told me when we were working on cars, right? Every single thing that's put... Nice blink there. Everything that's put in a car, whether it's a bolt, a nut, or anything, was done on purpose. So... I got a feeling they did that on purpose, like putting all these little types of uh, blockades or barriers wherever you go. Like, if you look on the sides of B-Dom, that little pillar right there I just passed. Yeah, the two things, that, well, actually, there's three of them on B-Dom. Uh, those are all there on purpose, I think. So, I don't know if that, you know what? It probably would make team shooting actually less if, uh, no, actually more, I'm sorry. It would make it more if those things were not there, right? Because think about it. If there were those little barricades were not on B-Dom, and then uh, the whole team of, let's say, three people go to B-Dom, you're going to get hosed by all three people. At least with those little barriers, you can kind of, I don't know, head glitch a little bit or block yourself off. But those things did get a little bit annoying. So that's it for my thoughts, guys. I really want to hear from you guys in the comment section. Please comment as much as possible. Um, you know, Bungie was kind enough to retweet my uh, guide today for the um, open beta. That was really nice of them. They also tweeted my stream out last week. So, you know, I, I think they probably do look at my videos and the comments um, to see what you guys think, you know? And uh, I really want to hear what you guys' opinions are 
of the crucible from a casual average per, uh, perspective uh if you're a pro let me know what you guys think too i want to hear from you guys i want to hear from everybody so overall i love it i can't wait for destiny 2 another big thing too i um we hopped on destiny 1 tonight because one of our friends needed a king's fall she was hunting the uh king's fall shader and man when you logged into destiny 1 look i love destiny 1 don't get me wrong but boy do you notice the graphical difference between destiny 1 and destiny 2 and i'm i'm playing on a ps4 i don't have a 4k monitor just yet i'm just using a regular benq gaming monitor but my god does it look so much better destiny 2 compared to destiny 1 so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video do me a favor let me know what you guys think in the comment section do me a favor drop a like in this video only if you see fit follow me on the twitter at mesa sean check my stream usually you know it's on youtube and that's it i am out of here like vladimir